Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is not a work trip. We're actually going to Manchester for the night. Very spontaneously booked, we decided let's go. Vic has time off, I've got a few days off between my trips. We thought let's just do it because I've been up to Manchester before as you guys know. But I've only ever had like, you know, a short time there. So it's quite nice to have a good two days really to just go and do all the things I wanted to do because I have my car with me as well, which means we can go to the Trafford Centre. We're gonna go to Selfridges because Vic's never been there before. We're just gonna really enjoy ourselves. So Vic's currently filling my car up. As you can see there. <laughs> Those of you that have other halves, do you get them to fill your car up as well? Is that just me? Um, but yeah, we're gonna head off now and we're kind of torn between Starbucks or McDonald's. I don't know. Don't know what I want. Am I hungry or thirsty more? Thanks for filling my car up. So I was filling some petrol around here because there's sand everywhere. Oh yeah. Wasn't you though, was it? No. Because you're a top notch. Yeah, I was reading Petrical. something. Thank you very much. <laughs> so where did we end up? You know that. I feel like I haven't had McDonald's in a long time though. Can we just talk about how foggy it is? Like, it's not fun to drive in. I can imagine. Like, it's not showing too well on the camera, but like, legit, you just cannot see things. There was one point earlier we couldn't even see the car in front. Yeah. Like, look at that. Look at that. What's that car doing? <laughs> he is being a n Zoomies. <laughs> nope, he's gone. I don't know if this is our first point of traffic anyway. Zoomies have gone. Look how pretty she is. I'm so full though. Yeah, same. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. So we have arrived. Really that exciting now? At the moment. I'm desperate for a pee. It's so bad, it's really hit me. I told you we should have stopped. I know. Clary knows better. I wanted to power through. No way! Go see. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> There's even Asda. There's UK Fast, God knows what that is. Wee! <laughs> I think we've got some grey buildings on the side and... Yeah, it never, never, looked very, um, never looked very appetising on the outside of Manchester to me, but Central is lush, love it. We'll see, I'll be the judge of that. It just feels weird not being here for work. Uh, I hope parking's yeah. easy, it's the most nerve-wracking thing about going somewhere new, is the parking, not even the driving. <laughs> we arrived in Manchester oh. like 40 minutes ago and we're already in Selfridges. Yeah. We, we exactly. couldn't check in till three and it's just after three now. We were just trying to kill some time but we're just walking around and we know we can't afford anything in here but it's just nice to look isn't it? Okay. She needs it. This is a really random topic, but <laughs> we were just talking about um, in Tiffany's about weddings and stuff. So we were looking at the engagement rings. And <laughs> because my friend got engaged with a Tiffany ring. And um, we were just looking. There was a passport holder. So I randomly said, oh, "Where would you want to go on your honeymoon?" He said, "Maldives." And. I cannot believe he's just said that. I don't get what, what's the, what's the catch here? You guys like? know it's my dream to go to the Maldives through work or, or on holiday and the fact that he wants to go to the Maldives on our honeymoon. 
I'm gonna make it happen. I'm ah, changing my it's mind gonna... slowly. I'm slowly changing my mind. I don't you know that. if I want to go too You said it now. <laughs> okay. The Orangedale's looking cute today. Okay, we've checked in and yeah, it's just a basic premier inn we're staying in on Princess Street, if you're wondering. And it was just, yeah, cheap and cheerful. Um, but we have a plan now of just getting ready and then we're going to go bar hopping. We've literally made a plan. In fact, I made a plan and I left the plan at home on my iPad. So I'm just going to do it from memory. But I've made like a massive circle of different bars that we are hopefully going to go to. We might not make it to all of them if we're having a drink at every single place because there's about eight or nine bars that I plan to go to. Um, but yeah, we don't want to go out too early because, yeah, we don't want to get drunk really quick and then end up having to come home quickly. Um, but yeah, we're going to eat along the way as well. So we're going to get changed and then head out soon, I think. But yeah, this room's quite simple. The lighting's cool though. Oh my god! I zoomed him out loud, did I zoom in? <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> we're all ready to go bar hopping now. And I just want to show you my outfit, because I, I don't know, I was questioning it. So like, the outfit itself, I love, like, it's very me. But it's the trainers. I love these trainers, they're so... bougie. <laughs> he hates that word. Um, but yeah, they're very bougie. But I don't know because a lot of bars are funny about letting people with trainers in at night. So I was going to take my heels with me. I've got some white heels. Um, so I think I might take them just to be on the safe side. Um, but yeah, these are so comfy and I do like it, but I was questioning it. But um, in the mall earlier, we did pick up a bath bomb to have later. We picked up, what was it called? It's like a Christmas, is it Christmas? Yeah, like Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, that's what it's called. It's like a Christmas pudding kind of present thing, but it looks really cool and I'm gonna show you later. So that's a little treat for when we get back. But we're gonna head off now and go and get drunk, I guess. First stop is Slug and Lettuce. Sugs, Sugs and Lettuce? I can't speak already. Uh, first stop is Slug and Lettuce, and we have food and cocktails. But we realise a lot of the places close really early, don't they? They close at like 11, so we need to get a move on and eat and drink. The question is did we pay for ice or drinks? Neither. We paid for water. <laughs> this cherry bake well cocktail is my dessert. We're not like normal couples where we just chat about life. No, we were discussing what bougie the next place we're going to sounds like in Polish, pronounced like as it would in like Polish letters. And what is it? Bowie. Bowie. Let's go Bowie. Let's go Bowie. Sounds like I can pronounce bowling in English. Yeah. What drink have I got? Uh, it is 
a pink poppy punch, which is gin, poppy liqueur, and raspberry puree. In the boxiness, by the way. Fantastic bar, highly recommend it. I got, I got all my Instagram photos in the um, in... Boo yeah. Boo yeah. I forgot Boo what yeah. they called it, but the boo oh my god, it was such a good experience. I loved it. I yeah. loved it. It's all it's pink. So I want my stag do there. Yeah, we were discussing like, it'd be a great place to take his mates Jack, because... Steph, I know you're watching. It's <laughs> happening in Bougie. Jack, <laughs> it's happening. In your stag do's happening. I'm your best man. I, I decide it and it's happening in a Bougie. <laughs> your Vegas plan. It's so good though. Yeah, if, if you're questioning going to Bougie, don't don't question it. Just go. Do it. All of the Instagram setups are in the toilets, by the way. The the freaking just architecture and everything in general, like the yeah. the pillars and everything, the ceiling, like you have a freaking rope and pulley system for someone to be like trapeze artisting or, a, or like artisting to be like a trapeze artist in the middle of the thing, just like spinning around, it's like bro. I mean, we were saying on a Saturday it must be thriving. They had like a whole, it was closed off today, but like you have like a whole DJ booth with like speakers and everything, but it was like all pulled away. But I'm sure like when they separate and stuff, they had a whole outside lounge that was closed as well. So mm. it would have been absolutely dang. It was great today, it would be fantastic on a weekend. Absolutely. I don't know what this is. I don't know either. What do you mean you don't know what it is? I don't know, you just asked for a nice shot. You asked for any shot? A nice shot. The lovely bartender lady said, yeah, we've got something for you. Okay, cool. I'm scared. Yeah, lemon cello. That was lemon cello. Really nice aftertaste. <laughs> it tastes like lemon, surprisingly. What? Nummy? What have you got there? I have a cross of the pond. It is a bourbon blue curacao and simple syrup mixture. And I have a shot. <laughs> That's it, I'm done after this. We like to drink it flowing. It's not bread and we like to it flowing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You suck. You're It smells like it smells like Christmas, like cinnamon. Just tell me what it is, and I'll, and I'll tell, tell you. Tell me what it is, and I'll drink it. I'll tell you when you drink it. Tell me what it is, and I'll drink it. That tastes like the Christmas, like home fragrances. It's getting bath and body works, so it's spraying that in your mouth. What was it? Uh, fireball. <laughs> Only I would really find this funny, but it says tiptoe. <laughs> and he starts doing this. <laughs> so inconsiderate, but it's so funny. It's only like 10 at night, so it's fine, but... <laughs> We're about to put the bath bomb in. Do the honours. <laughs> Update, it has gone extremely blue. We don't know what's going on. It is still... I don't know if you can see like slowly reacting. But yeah, other than that, the rest is still um, red as it was. So we've got mostly red. And then you get here and you're like, you know, mm. bit of Boris Johnson. It's like blue. 
Final update has completely melted and the thing looks like Local. from red all the way to blue. And then like purple in the middle. Any comments from you? It looks sh Wow. It does, it looks like sh like. That looks cool. Don't get any closer, you'll dunk the camera in the water. You're cool though. You're in the pattern. Good morning, Manchester. Is it still morning yet, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, 30 minutes. Good morning, guys. It is the next day now, and we had a great night. It was so good and so different for us because we've never actually gone bar hopping before, but it was really good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we are ready now. We are going to head off to the Trafford Centre. Number one, to get some food. Two, I kind of want a bubble tea still. <laughs> and three to your shopping. Online. I hear great things about this place and I'm really looking forward to seeing it because I think, as well as the shops are good, I think the building itself's good as well. It looks pretty. So yeah, we've got another 30 minutes before we need to check out, but we're gonna go now because we're hungry. I'm hungry anyway, are you? Yeah, you're sure. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic park. Now we go to the stadium. There was a mega store in there, guys. And now you see wildlife in the form of bushes blocking the view. And then it's a map. It was PLT a second ago, but it's not anymore. <laughs> so. What? We have arrived. So Did far, it's slow just. Motion. Yep. We've <laughs> got wellies on. They're like wellies. True. I've just got pink boys. Yeah, very pink. <laughs> the cheese that we bought then. Got a trap in there. <laughs> and that's about it. Swag. Yeah. Okay. Plus the guy likes all of the pins on your jacket. Yeah, he likes the Dragon Ball ones, so you know. <laughs> That's so cool. I ended up getting chicken tenders and some curly fries and a Coke as well. He got the pink lemonade. I was contemplating that, but I really wanted another Coke. And you got this box meal thing? Yeah, I've got tenders, the Louisiana hot tenders with crinkle fries, and I got some extra peri peri wings. Looks so good. And spicy sauce, which is AKA uh, ketchup. <laughs> You're just a weakling. My, my makeup is not hard. Potatoes for them. It's going to be refill. I want to ask you guys something. Those of you that are like local in Manchester or Liverpool, wherever there is an Archie's, I ordered the chicken, the, the Nashville chicken tenders. And the pictures looked like they were normal just chicken tenders. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> did I did I make a mistake? Did I miss something on the menu? But are all the chicken tenders spicy? I don't know. Because the Nashville ones, like I said, the picture looked like they were just plain chicken tenders. They were spicier than the ones that said they were spicy, which are the Louisiana ones, which I had. I don't know whether the kitchen messed up. Or what? Like 
it's even, they really taste good. The heat has died down now. Even the very very wings are spicier than the Louisiana ones I have. I tr yeah, I tried his Louisiana hot ones and they didn't taste anywhere remotely hot at all. So I don't know whether something went wrong or what. I swear, I heard that they do like chicken nuggets or something. But I don't know whether that's like a kid's menu or something, I don't know. But yeah, did I make a mistake? Or did Arch just make a mistake? I don't know. They taste really good now, but the only thing with spice is I just get really uncomfortable. And I can't, I, I cannot burp. So I just sit there suffering, like doing these weird, like, gargles and like, ugh, it's gross. I make these weird noises because I can't burp. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go shopping now. Anything I touch just, fall, just falls. Instantly. I we wanted to tell the story of what just happened. There's a, a, a bubble tea. I can't even speak now. I can't even speak now. Still can't That's speak. really annoying. So there's a bubble tea place literally just across the road. The road? Across the way. And I go, <laughs> can, I have, can I go and get a, a blub blub? Not even a bubble tea. A, a blub blub tea. So now it's called the Blub Blub Tea, not a bubble tea. Would you like it? it? The, the place was called bub, Bubbolo, Bubbology? Bubbology? Let's see. Bubbology, right? Bubbology. Bubbology. Why is that so? Why can't they just do Bubbology? That'd be so much better. Because it's a so Blub Blub. I say that, so then it came out as Blub Blub. Blub Blub. So, how did you feel? I mean, they had a, uh, what? First of all, we were blah, blah, blah. Mine was absolute dog <laughs> You can probably see it down there. Like, that is an abomination. That. Yeah, it was like a milk tea. Oh my God, it was vile. They automatically came with like coffee jelly and I didn't want any jelly. I just wanted the rose milk tea. They were like, no, you have to have strawberry and coffee jelly. I was like, no, I don't want it. They're like, well, you have to have it. And it's like, <laughs> then. I just noticed my mileage is on 666. We have to change that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Trafford Centre, I liked it, but I don't know, it was missing something. It was a beautiful place, like very, very pretty shopping centre. But it was just very lacking. I don't know why. Like, we prefer Westfield in London so much more than that place. I, d I don't know what was missing. I don't know, it's just... I don't know. It was a bit naff, really. Like, is that the right way what to... Do you, what would you rate it out of 10? Like, compared to the other places we've been in... Probably like a 6. A 6? <laughs> a 6? <laughs> a 6, yeah? I want to say some things to demonetize this video in a second. No, I don't do that. <laughs> um, I probably agree with you. Yeah, we were saying. Thanks. Like, <laughs> we were saying like we, we're kind of making our way around shopping centres around the UK, aren't we? And we've done um, our top ones that we do is it's the one in Swindon, which is the outlet village where you work. We've got the St David's in Wales, Trafford, Westfield, and I guess Brighton, Brighton. was our other one. And the way I was rating it, or way I rated it just now, was. Um, Westfield in London, um, the Shepherd's Bush one, we haven't been to the other one. Um, then St David's in Wales, was that right? In Cardiff, yeah. Yeah, in Cardiff. Then this, Trafford, then Brighton and then Swindon's last because the designer outlet is just... It's not designer. Oh my god, it's awful. It's, we've lost so much there, haven't we? Uh, you actually have to get out of Swindon to get to The only two shopping. designer, really like decent designer brands is Polo and Hugo Boss and that's it. Yeah. You've got nothing else there that's worthwhile. Nothing. I, I don't know why people drive all the way to Swindon to go I know, we get so many visitors daily like, oh, we've come all the way. It's like, why? Why, literally. So, like, we like this place. It's a very, very pretty place, but I wouldn't rush to come back here. No. Because it was so cool that they had Selfridges inside the shopping centre. Yeah, we didn't realise they had shel sh Selfridges here. I can't even speak. What is wrong with me? I've got to drive home as well. Yeah. 
uh, which is going to take two hours 55 minutes so we better get a move on <laughs> and before we catch the traffic but yeah it was nice it was a nice day no regrets the best part was the food in archie's for sure oh that bar was so good oh <laughs> oh my and the blue blue blah blah or your blah blah my blah blah not your blah blah my blah blah my blah blah purple you should have got a boost you should have got a boost is it stuck with your original plan? Anyway, we're going to try You're the one that was like, oh, you get boost all the time, have a blah blah. No, I know, I know, but... It's a down blame. You could have made a better decision. You like fruit tea like me, so I don't know why you went for a milk tea. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to drive home now. Well, I'm going to drive home. You're going to probably nap Sleep. all the way, yeah. We'll see you when we get home. In two hours, 55 minutes, hopefully. Bye. So we're back from Manchester now and the drive felt really quick actually. Um, we had a little bit of traffic but it was fine, it was like free moving. And we did have to stop along the way to get some petrol but we are finally home just over three hours later. I just thought I'd show you as well the few things that I got from the Trafford Centre. I only got a few things. The first thing I got actually was something from Pull and Bear. I've never actually officially bought something from Pull and Bear itself but I have um got pull and bear items which i got from the charity shop so vic actually picked this out didn't you <laughs> he's hiding under the quilt because he wants to watch youtube videos but it's going to interfere with my clip it's all about you yeah it's all about <clears throat> my videos uh but yeah it's this very like different top for me it's hard to kind of show it because it's a very unique shape but it's got one long sleeve and then it's got this little cut out here um, but it's like a brown colour and it's very very different for me and uh, that was only 14 99 so I thought that was quite a good price and it's quite good quality as well. Mm. Uh, the second thing I got was from Selfridges. <laughs> There's a story behind this. The only reason I actually got this is because I wanted a Selfridge bag. I've got like a collection of like designer bags up there from like gifts and stuff I've had in the past and I just wanted one to add to my collection um so the only thing I got from Selfridges was a Morphe beauty blender because I, I did need a new one so there is a reason why I needed it and, and I got it but I just wanted to get the bag really um so yeah, that's going to be going up on top of my wardrobe and I will be using the beauty blender don't worry the last thing I got was from Stradivarius. I've never bought anything from here. I don't own anything from here, but I hear great things. I walked in and there was loads of good stuff actually. So I got this really nice green jumper. It's like quite a long one. So this could be like a jumper or even a jumper dress, but it's got a turtleneck. It's so soft. I love the colour and it was only like $17.99, which for a really good quality jumper is actually a good price um so yeah that's really going to be lovely for the winter as we are now approaching that season so that's everything i got from trafford um vic didn't get anything like like i said in the car we were just a little bit underwhelmed by the shops there so nothing was really grabbing vic and the shops that he does like especially like places like all saints he doesn't really like the wintry stuff i noticed so yeah, it was just a case of browsing, really. And then we also had our food and our cheese, which we loved. So overall, the day was really good. I got some good things. Right. <laughs> right, that's, I think, going to finish the vlog. That was a really good two days. Was it two days? Yeah. Not quite? Yeah. Very spontaneous, as always. But I think we should start making it a thing where we just go to, like, random places around the UK and just go for, like, a night. So we've done it with Brighton, we've done it with Manchester. Liverpool's next. Liverpool? I don't know why I said that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Any of you are from Liverpool, let us know if it's worth coming to you for a night. <laughs> or any anywhere else in the UK you recommend us coming for a little one night staycation and Exploration. Ex exploring. It's good fun. But I hope you really enjoyed. Um, we had great fun. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also subscribe, pop on the notification bell, and there will be some more work trip vlogs coming soon because I'm going to some exciting places. Those of you that watched my roster reveal last month will know where they are. Uh, have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.